Welcome back everyone to Kingdoms and Castles and welcome to Alpha 3 as it states right here. These are the patch notes for Alpha 3. So there's a couple of new things, I'm not going to read through them, feel free to read them yourselves. But as you can see there is a couple of new things um, that are available to us. The ogres appear more frequently, something that I find quite interesting. And a new music track, now I do um, speak to uh, Aether, I'm, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, who does the music for the game on Discord and uh, seems like quite a nice person so I'll be interested to see uh, what the new track is. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump into it. So we have to do a new game because the saves are broken as it said in the uh, in the patch notes there which tends to happen for games that are in alpha so that's, that's not a problem. We were full anyway. So we're going to stick with uh, easy because if I go for this one, we're never going to get attacked and that will take away part of the fun. So let's have a quick look. Now, I'm not too sure. Oh, that's, there's a lot of desert on that one. I'm not too sure what I'm looking for. Apart from a big patch of green, that would be nice. Hmm. Just gonna have a quick look through. Now, if this is like easy, it does make me wonder what hard is gonna be like, because I'm assuming there'd be a lot more desert. That one's not too bad, I suppose. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so we've gotta put our castle down first. Let me have a quick in fact we could pause the game. Oh look! Was that in the patch notes? I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> this is one of those sneaky changes that they put in and, and don't tell you. But obviously I'm using the keys on the keyboard, but it's kind of nice that it's up there. Um, we've got one random block out there, and obviously we can build on water now as well, which is quite nice. Hmm. So I'm looking where we can do farms. See, this isn't too bad in this area. So I'm thinking if we build the houses kind of on this deserty sort of area, which is going to put us near the ocean, but whatever. <laughs> we'll deal with those Vikings um, in whatever way we can, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, and some of these have changed as well. I don't remember these icons being this way. There's a charcoal maker, which is one of the new things. Actually, let's unpause it. There we go. So, if we build a road through here, can we... We can't build on trees yet, that's fine. I only haven't got many people, so I, <laughs> I can't issue too many orders. That's going to be the thing... I'm playing it too fast. That's going to be the thing that kind of catches me out, because I'm so used to having loads of people. And that was seriously bright. Farms. Okay, and, and roads and houses. No problemo. Wow, that lightning is super bright. Why can we can we put any of these in? We need to chop down those trees. Go to those trees for me and then... As soon as you've done that, there we go. You can have a house. I'm, I'm right next to the, the trees and the stone here. That's the other wonderful thing about where we are right now. No one is idle, so we can't currently chop any trees. But as soon as that house is in, perfect. Let's get these chopped. So, four of four. Road access, or once access to a well, and once neighbours. That's fine. We just need to expand a tiny bit more, and we'll get some get some farms in to clear these first. Because I need to get a little bit closer to this. There we go. Was that the last one? Perfect. So, farms. I think we've not got many people, so I can't go absolutely crazy with this, and I can't build a windmill yet. But seeing as we've got that in place, the trees are growing already. Let's get that chopped down. And we'll get into the house in here. So we got... Now we do need a granary, and that's something we'll look at shortly, because that's one of the changes. But I'm hoping 
that they will take the food over to the castle. At least that's what I'm banking on. They might not. Because we can only hold 50 food at the moment. Yep, they're going to do that. Are they going to take it all? Are we going to lose any? Doesn't appear so. They've took it all in. Perfect. Which is what we wanted. So as soon as this is built, if anyone is building it, wait a minute. One, two, three. That's number four. Probably hiding in here somewhere. So I guess we'll just close that for a second. Get this house built and then this person can go back to farming. It'll skip a season obviously, but if we haven't got more people, it's not going to work very well. There we go. So we can open this again. So we've now got eight beds, but only four people. So hopefully some more people will come in. Ah, oh, there you are. You are hiding. Don't think there's any new messages. Food stores are running low. That's fine. Oh, this has changed as well, because this used to be down in the corner, but now it actually follows the person. Martin Smith. I wonder if these are named after the, the, the people um, that pledged to the game. Because that was one of the things. You could have a, a character named after you. So I'm not sure if they've started implementing that yet or not. Okay, so we've still only got four. Can we... What do we need for a well? We need stone. Okay. So for a quarry, we need more trees. Oh, there we go. Ah, we got some more workers. Wonderful. I do want to build... Um... A granary. Now the difference um, with the granaries as well, I think they they fill up individually now. I think that was one of the things. We need a road up there. So basically it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we just put them everywhere and it just globally increased your food um, what's the word I'm looking for? The amount that you could actually store. So now I'm guessing you need to have empty granaries nearby. All these people are going to have to walk a long distance to the um, to the closest granary, which does add a little bit more difficulty to it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I need to remove some of these trees. There we go. So we need to get a little bit of stone coming in. What? What are you? Are you the stone, or are you the other stuff that isn't any use to us? No, you are stone. Perfect. And we might even get a little stockpile in here if we can afford it. I need some stone. But we've got the charcoal maker. We don't currently need that yet. So, I think we can afford another, another hovel. Let's put another hovel in. And we'll probably... First, I think the first thing we'll do after this is a... Here's a granary. We'll probably put a small one up. Maybe not. I don't know if we can afford a large one, but we might. We might try. There we go. And if, if this game has taught me anything, we do need a well at some point. And this is the manor. This is one of the new buildings. So, holds more people. It doesn't tell us how many it holds. Yeah. So I was just trying to see that the resources double or triple, I suppose, depending on which one you're looking at. But they require charcoal. And this is the pier, which we, will allow us to build on it. So I'm tempted to build archer towers kind of out here, rather than just on the city walls. That, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, there we go. We've got some stone coming in. That one's a tiny one. How much for the big one? It might be worth. There we go. Although, do I really want to block the stone? Maybe if we just extend that one square and then put that here. Because then we can get at least one here and maybe one there. Let's just fast forward a little bit. How is food looking? Okay. So, a small granary requires 15 trees and we've not built a forester yet. So, that could be part of the... Uh, Part of the problem we're going to have at the moment. 
I think if we chop you away from there and you from there, we put a forester here. I think that might be a good slot. Now, this is going to take three people. I'm waiting for. That's new. <laughs> See, there's a lot of little changes they've, they've not really said. I'm pretty sure that was new. I've not seen that before. So it's waiting for 12 wood. Which is really cool. I'm tempted to see if the, if there's a... When you go to uh, demolish something, whether there's a confirmation yet on that. Are you sure you wish to demolish? Because that, that was one of the more irritating things when you delete things by mistake. Should we try it? No, there isn't. <laughs> that answered the question. Oh, look. You can see... See Martin carrying the wood there. He looked very happy carrying the wood. So as soon as that's chopped, we will put a forester in. Because to build things like granaries, we're going to need the extra wood anyway. So we'll put you in. Hmm. Maybe. If we can capture as many of these trees as possible. Maybe more. Yeah, let's go with that. And you're going to need a road. Well, you don't, but I feel like we should. So, we just need a couple more trees for the well. For the granary, it's literally 15, 15 wood. Okay. We've got nobody free at the moment, though. Now, thankfully, we've not been attacked, because that would be devastating right now. I'm not sure if it's a time or a population thing that actually makes them come for you. I might have to test that out at some point and see. So as soon as this is done, we really need, I want to work on the granary because I want to show you what they've actually done. Our food is looking quite good though. Have we got no one free? We've got no one free, have we? And here's me speeding the game along and then thinking to myself, why are they not doing this? There we go. And that's what we wanted. I might even, just to speed things along, let's chop some trees down. Because we need 15, wasn't it? So hopefully... 13... There we go. Let's put a small granary. I don't really want to put it on this green... Kind of fertile land. Let's put it here. Because even though the, uh, the windmill bonus won't stretch that far... I'm still more than happy to use it for farms. I might thank myself for that later on. So let's let's speed this up and get this granary built. And then we can show you exactly the change that's been made. Um, I don't think we necessarily need another farm yet. We will as soon as we add another house. And I'm tempted to ha add one here. I think we'll do that now. Can we build a well? We can. Now this needs to cover as many of our buildings as possible as well. Let's go with there. It is missing a couple of things, but... Right, is this finished? No, not quite. A little bit more effort. There we go. Plus 200. So when you click on it... <laughs> that's the thing I like the most. The roof pops open. So you can physically see inside it. Now at the moment it's not got anything in there, so we'll wait. They're about to harvest. In fact, let's keep it open and see what happens. Look, yep, you can physically see it inside there. Which, <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's it's just one of those little touches that just kind of makes it a little bit more personal. Because obviously the, the, the roof of the building wouldn't open like that, but I kind of like it. And the fact you can really see how full it is. Be interesting if you could see rats running around in there as well. That'd be a, that'd be a nice touch. What have we got here? Um, pets alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine now. We're fine. Don't panic. But we definitely need. How many people we've got? We've got a possibility of 16. Let's put another two in. And let's open this again. Well, it is almost done, so that's going to increase their happiness a little bit, which is fantastic, which is what we want. We've got another farmer now. 
Now, I don't want to get to a point where I'm storing too much food because... Well, not necessarily the episode prior to this because I started to struggle for food. But there was a time where I had so much food. It was a little bit too much. So I'm going to try and balance it a little bit better this time. I want just a little bit more than I actually need, just in case anything happens. Because when you get attacked or if there's a fire, um, some of these people will be distracted from what they're doing. So you'll, some seasons you'll produce less food than others just because of those sort of things. See, that one's empty at the moment. But we still have seven food. Can we actually build a windmill? No. Wow. See, we have enough stone. It's just the... Uh, I think we'll do that next, just for the bonus. I don't know if they've done any more work on the orchards yet. I think they're still producing the same amount. Whoa. Mouse sensitivity. So how much food have we got there? Okay, that was interesting. Because they took the final piece of food to there instead of here. Even though it's not full. Huh. I know there's some new pathfinding um, that's kind of been applied to the game, but I found that rather odd. I'm not too sure why they did that. Can we build the windmill? We can. Perfect. So I think as well, we got, we got no idle workers. Is anyone building the windmill? doesn't appear so no okay that's fine we'll free up some workers from here which then now tells me I actually need more houses if if no one comes to build anything you've not got enough people so that's one surefire way of actually telling what's going on yeah we're producing just the right amount of food for what we've got so if we want to expand the windmill's gonna help anyway because it's going to increase how much food these things are pumping out. So this is doing 16 a year at the moment. But it has a master worker in there as well. There we go, 19. So we're going to get a little bit more. I think we need to build a road around here though. So we will come around this way. I know we've got, got no one free to do it yet. Yeah, let's go to... I might put an orchard there. I was just looking at this as another kind of little square of farms, but although that's going to be there, uh, it's a tough one. I think we, we, we'll go with an orchard, maybe. This is perfect land here for farms. Look at people doing these. Yes. Oh, all these birds. A little poop on everything. Right, how's the food going to look now? If it goes more than 50... There we go. Still not enough. So, we currently have three spare workers. So let's go one, two, and then let's build. If we've got the resources to do it. Ah, another hovel. Now these are going to want neighbours. So, this is going to make them slightly unhappy in, in, a, in a sense. Because they're going to have no neighbours just yet. But we can't really afford to build two houses. Just on the basis we're not going to produce enough food. There we go. So it's probably safe. Or safer for me to put that in. Now we've got to bear in mind that we're going to get attacked by the ogre a little bit more as well. Apparently it's fixed. And I'm guessing no one's reported a bug to say otherwise as it stands. So we do have to think about that. Town Square, yeah, there's nothing, no no more new buildings in there. I do believe you can close the portcullis on the gate as well. So, so there is that. We can stop the Vikings physically walking through those. So I've got to bear in mind when I'm building this, where am I going to put my walls? So I don't want to extend too close to the side. But we can um, obviously build on the water with the pier. But that's just going to make things cost a bit more. So if I were to, say, build the wall straight along here... I could put the pier in here and then build on top of it just to keep it nice and straight so there is that and then we can come kind of around the side of the rock as well so that's within our borders and not leaving strange gaps in the walls but how are we doing now let's just check the food before we progress in fact let's do some workers in there so we currently have no idle workers 
So again, we need we need another house. But I'm just intrigued to see what happens to the food. Now bearing in mind, Dave here is an apprentice. So he's not going to be producing as much food as... Brett, because he's a grandmaster. One wonders what lies beyond the sea. I'm pretty sure these names must be the people, you know. I can't remember if I pledged um, the right amount to get my name put in the game. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, I'll have to double check. I'm not sure if Biffa did either, for that matter. Um, right, let's put a hovel. Now, by rights, they shouldn't build that because there is no one. So, again, we'll turn this off. I think we'll we'll definitely have enough food to support this. Especially as uh, Robert becomes better at his job. Stone cutting so they're all gonna get really kind of highly skilled people. Potentially be very good at various different jobs. We can open that again, there we go. So we should have four people spare, I think, once once they move into this house. He says, <laughs> and waits with bated breath. Yep, four people stayed. Perfect. What have we got here? Um, okay, nice larger houses. Food. Food is running low. Food's doing okay at the moment. I'm actually not too, too worried about that. It'd be interesting just to see how we kind of survive at the moment, though. Um, let's build. Let's build a road down here. I think we built, we might actually build the pier in here. In fact, should we put should we put one in now just to see what it looks like? That looks really odd, doesn't it? Um, what does it take? Well, a lot of stone. Okay, there we go. Let's chuck that in there. Now I'm not going to put any wall on it because I, I I kind of fear if I put wall on there, I'm just inviting um, some kind of invasion. I like the fact that they just kind of bob around in the water. <laughs> Who are you? Peter's Farnas. Yeah, these are... These are definitely people that have pledged to the game, aren't they? They've got to be. Who have we got over here? Anthony. Jason. See, some have surnames and some don't. Simon Sams. Gary. <laughs> this is like such normal names. Ryan, what are you up to? Oh, the windmill has a worker. Did the windmill have a worker before? I don't remember it having a worker. Interesting. So the pier is waiting for materials, okay. It's taking a little bit of time. So we've got two idle people, we're producing enough food. I'm quite comfortable with adding at least one more hovel in here, I think. Town square's quite big, so we won't be putting that in just yet. I will replace these with the bigger houses at some point too. But for the moment, I'm quite happy with that. How are we getting on here? Oh, a fire has started. And we have nobody spare to put it out. Um, will these guys get there in time? They're running. <laughs> Here they come. Quick, get to the well. <laughs> oh, too slow. Oh, they've gone inside. I think they were looters. I think they've gone in there to pillage. <laughs> Let's open that again. So we've still got some, some spaces. For a couple more people. Wow, that does take some serious building. I know they've got a long walk with the resources. But it's taking its it's taking its time. There's another thing to kind of bear in mind, I suppose, if you're gonna build these things. So we're in year 18. No attacks just yet. Looks like snow is coming down from the heavens. So clearly, I have to build something in particular to get those Vikings to come. 
I'm, I'm not going to be tempted. I can, we can build this already. Interesting. So what, what have we got in here we could do with a granary? We're going to need a bigger one at some point. I think probably... Bear in mind that they're going to... Um, if I can get my words out. That they're going to fill these up and going to go to the closest one. And we're going to have farm stuff around here. And that land not being the greatest, I think. We will actually put that in there. And we can probably run another road along the back here. I'm getting excited again and building loads of stuff that they just can't possibly keep up with. Because that's just the way I roll. <laughs> I'm going to learn eventually when things start build, uh, burning down because uh, I'm building too much. These take an absolute age though. Ridiculous. But touch wood... There's been no bugs yet. Not that I've seen. I mean, if you've spotted anything, that doesn't seem to be right. And uh, let me know. Okay, that's almost done. So we've managed to build an entire granary in the time it's taken them to build that. That's funny. Well, there we go. So this one... Yep, we can see our food in there. And this one is completely empty. So we've got all that extra storage now. So this is going to be farmland as well. That'll be our next step, I think, before we put more houses in. And I think we're doing okay for food, though. We could, do you know what? Let's... Actually, let's put a cottage in. I'm a little worried that putting a cottage will spark off an invasion. I'm not sure why, but it's just a feeling. And, and this was, this had a bit of an issue before, didn't it? So I think, does it say in here how many it holds? No. I think it was supposed to be something like 10. And it and it held an extra 2, something like that. We'll see in a second once it, once it builds. But while that's kind of being worked on, we've got some idle workers, so... Let's chuck in a couple more fields, I think. I don't know if we're going to need any more than that just yet. You've got to bear in mind, that is quite a lot of people coming in. In fact, let's go for it. Why just sit here and, and debate it? Let's, let's just bite the bullet and... If we're producing too much food, then we'll just bring more people in. Right, is this built? Almost. There we go. Twelve people. Yeah, so was it 10 before? 4, 8, and now, and now it's actually showing the extra. Because it doesn't actually say on, on the tooltip how many it holds. I have a memory like a sieve, you see. Even though I've made several episodes. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, the pier is built. Wee, wow. I need to turn the uh, scroll sensitivity down a little bit, I think. That'll definitely be worth it to keep things a little bit more uniform, I think. Um, so we got five idle people. We'll chuck a granary in there. I'm almost tempted to build um, an arch tower in the middle, a rather tall one, just to try and defend what we've got so far. But we've not got a lot of stone, and each of these takes 15. So we'd only get too high. And then, oh, that needs gold as well. Wow, okay. We're definitely not at that stage yet, then. Still got a lot more to do. Does this... This one doesn't open. Okay, what about... Nothing there changes. They've got the advisors. No taxes. Excellent. So, who are these? Are these new people? Oh! The Vikings are on the way. Oh, man. I guess we need to... What do we need to actually... This one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We're going to have to build that shortly then, because now they're just going to come in and burn the town down and take half of our people. Which is where potentially things are going to go wrong. Because yeah, this doesn't have any form of defences. That would be nice if there was an upgrade option on this building. So, there's at least two buildings going to be set on fire here. 
You're gonna come and pinch all our idle workers, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Feeling ready, so... I'm guessing these people were just generic people that have moved in, so we've probably not done too bad there. Could have been worse. Come on, we need these buildings put out. Stop chopping the stone. We've got people down here holding blocks of water. <laughs> oh. It's kind of funny how graphics in games have gone back a step. But they just look so quaint and, and, and still quite nice considering. Right, we're going to build a throne room. Have we got enough? We have. So let's, if we put you here, this is going to automatically upgrade the keep. Which apparently is not going to be the way it's going to work um, forever. You're going to have to actually upgrade it. At least that's, that's, that's what I saw anyway. What have you got for us? Throw festivals. Build walls and arches. Yes, definitely. I agree. But we need to keep people a little bit more happy. So we're probably going to have to put a town square in. But the, the problem being here is where am I going to put it? That, actually, that, that's got quite a big radius. We could put it right next to the castle. Maybe here. That's covering everything. Let's... Yeah, let's go with there. So we got three idle people at the moment. Food is looking quite good. I mean, it'll probably increase a little bit as these people get better as well. Now, once this makes their happiness higher, we'll, we'll be able to tax quite, quite nicely. We've not really got the stone we need, so we're probably going to need another stone cutter at some point. In fact, because food's doing so well... Let's put another hovel in. I, I know I need to replace these. Because that could be a cottage, and that could be a cottage, and it'd give me a lot more people. But Let's kind of do this first. So the happiness is starting to go up. This now requires someone to work as well. There was no one there before, so some of these buildings are now taking workers. Let's tax one gold. How much do we actually need? We need 20 for an archer tower. Okay. So I'm thinking... If we build this on the back... And build it fairly high, so it, it's got a good radius of coverage around the town. I'm not sure which way they're going to come in from every time, but... It seems like a good idea to have it kind of attached to our castle. We need 15. We've got Romas to the next one. There we go. So we've got seven idle workers, I think. I think we should put the quarry in. So that's going to need a, a road as well. There we are. So we've still got one person kind of floating around at the moment. Go. Is, that, is that the final bit? It is. But we're almost at a stage of putting another one in. How, we've got enough gold for an arch tower. So if I put it there, it doesn't cover quite enough yet. So let's put another one on. How much is that going to cover? So I think maybe another two high, possibly. I don't want it towering over the castle because it'll look silly. Plus the rate of fire sucks a little bit when you do that. I th I'm guessing one more. I think I think that that's going to be where it's going to be. Yeah, I'd like to protect my farmers a little bit more, but I think there will 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 do nicely. There's nothing stopping me putting another one on the other side. I could even just put an archer tower over here. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. As long as it's not the yoga that comes for us. <laughs> wow, we're producing tons of food. I'm not paying attention. Okay, so let's go for... Now that wall is 
the wall can go in the water actually, can't it? So we could put can we put two cottages? I think we could, you know. We haven't quite got the trees for it yet. So I won't get carried away with myself. Hospital, tavern. The archer tower is almost done. There we go. And it's manned as well. Perfect. So what do you need? Twin one more tree. Fantastic. Put you in there. Now with any luck... Our food will last quite nicely. There's a lot of people that are now going to be eating it, so it'll be interesting to see. So there's nothing stopping me just putting the odd farm in places like this as well. Even though it's not going to get... Oh, here we go. It's not going to get to get the benefit of the windmill, but... Oh, you would come that way, wouldn't you? The one side... Well, this isn't going to actually reach. Pesky Vikings. <laughs> um, I just don't, I didn't want to build a random one out in the middle of nowhere. One, one two, three, four, five. Is that six? I think it might be. We're struggling for wood at the moment. Where are they? Oh, they're floating across the water. Here. Yeah. Depends if they come in here. Oh, they might do. There we go. Arrows falling from the heavens. What are they going for? They're going for all my stone cutters. I think they're going to burn. Yep. Yeah. See, this is... It's going to get burnt down now. And the building changed colour when I closed it. Huh. Is it going to get burnt down? Quite possibly. Yeah, oh, well, one, one building wasn't too bad. Oh, look, the Vikings. We have a glitch. <laughs> There's our first issue. Yeah, let's chuck the quarry back in here. That's that's the first bug that I've seen, which is showing them are still invading. I wonder what will happen. If we got we got some people just lingering around, we have. Let's let's chop some of these down. So I'm wondering if this is in range to attack them. Will it take them out? Insufficient resources. Ooh. What did I say it was? I don't think it was six, wasn't it? Did you say that was six? One, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if that's six or seven. What does it look like if I tried to... Well, I know I have insufficient resources. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Don't shout at me. <laughs> Huh. To my poor judgment, it looks about right. It's, I'm gonna go with one more. I'm probably completely wrong. I think it is a little bit taller, but that's fine. Now, as soon as they build that though, I wanna see what happens to these guys that are over here. How's food looking? Wow, we're almost at maximum food. I wonder... We haven't got the wood. I was going to put a couple of cottages in here. I know I'm squashing everything in, but when, when you want to try and get the population, you kind of have to do that. Hey, it will let me build one there, so I'm going to build two here. Oh! It is. We are removing the bug with arrows. <laughs> I 
can see this one. Oh, that one, there we go. So even the arrows don't physically seem to hit them. It's, I'm not quite sure how that works, you know. They kind of landed in the area, but... That goes with the attack, okay. That would have been slightly annoying. That is one taller. I thought it might be, but that's, that's cool. I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, I think, wow, 40 minutes. My goodness, I've... Uh, clearly um, just kind of got too involved with this game once again but I think it's definitely a good spot to leave this episode if you've, if you've liked the changes that you've seen so far please leave me a comment I'd be interested to know what you think but until next time as always take care <laughs>